so today we have uh, question the lead code questions we have the perfect square so what is perfect square perfect square uh, the questions says that a perfect square is a, a integer right perfect square is an integer and that is the uh, that is a square of integer right that is a square of integer in other words it is a product of sum of two integer itself right how so for example it is saying 1 4 9 16 right 1 4 9 16 are perfect square while 3 and 11 are not how there is a one example here in which n is 12 and it is saying this is a perfect square why because 12 can be uh, get the product of 4 4 4 4 right 4 plus 4 plus 4 right and we will get three times we have used three times four so that's why the output is three and so that 12 is a perfect square similarly if n is equal to 13 you will have uh, 9 plus 4 4 plus 9 right 4 plus 9 right see here 4 plus 9 so it is also a perfect square so how we will uh, do the coding for this one right so it's very easy you have to focus i have already uh, worked on this code right so i'll uh, go through this one so you can see here we have a question uh, we have a question that uh, uh, we have to find the uh, perfect square of that number right so we will we will enter this number like 12 i'm going to enter in, in this so n is 12 and we are taking as in tj type n so uh, we will first take a dp as a memory we will store the all the already calculated values right if n is already calculated right if we know the value of uh, of uh, some some value right we know the 12 value right so what we will do we, we knows that its value is already calculated like we are going to calculate 16 right the, we knows already uh, 14, uh, 12 is already a perfect square so what we will do 12 plus 4 we will do that right and it will it will give you the perfect square number similarly the the other number will go on so line number 3 i am going to i am going to use dp to store the value and then we will we will add the uh, we will fill the dp with the integer max value integer max value through we will fill the arrays right and then we will set dp0 equal to 0 that we will initialize here dp0 the index of 0 is 0 now we will go through i equal to 1 to i plus plus we will go okay plus plus i we will go how we will take max integer that is a uh, mean value we will taking max integer in mean value and int j equal to 1 we will taking why we are taking let's understand first i minus j into j i minus j into j we know what i value we have i value is 1 right and whatever the value we have in j that is currently 1 right currently 1 if i minus j into j j into j is 1 correctly and uh, if it is greater than equal to 0 that is true that is true for this time right because i value is 1 and j value is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so this condition is going to satisfy right so now what we will do here we will calculate the mean value right we know the mean value is max integer we know the max integer value we have and dp i minus i right dp of index 0 is 0 we have currently right we have taken dp of 0 is 0 we have taken and plus 1 right so this is 1 and this is max integer right so this whole value will be what this whole value will be 1 right because we know that this is the max value this is the max value and this is the 1 right this is 0 and this is plus 1 so this will be 1 so now the mean is 1 not this is not the max value now this is the mean value and then we will increase j then we will increase j plus plus j after that calculation we will increase j here now second time i value will be not 1 it, its value will be 2 and similarly j value will be 2 right so what will happen now minimum is 1 
but its value is what? 2 minus 2 is 0, right? 2 minus 2 is 0 and plus 1 is 1. So, 2 and 1. So, what will be the mean value? Now, mean is 2, right? And similarly, it will go on, right? Similarly, it will go on. And then we will we will store all the dp value dp of i equal to mean and then we will return dp of n whatever the dp value we will have we will re return the whole dp value are you understanding or not so i think if you have any doubt you can ping me i will uh, help you M mainly we have to fill all the dp uh, values stored and that value we will pass into the n right and it will return that n directly means we have to calculate all the value from 0 to n right sorry 1 to n right 1 to n we will calculate all the values and we will store here in the dp okay so i think we have understood the code thank you so much